we did not know anything about other than the fact that they were notified that he was missing in action. He served in World War II and then he re-enlisted for Korea. Uh, he was lost in Korea on uh, November 29, 1950 and he was declared dead in 1953, three years later. Growing up it was just, I was very young, I was, uh, had just turned two when he died so it was just kind of part of my life. It was always something that I grew up with. So I think as I got older, I understood a little bit better. You know, I really wanted to um, learn more about him. And I understood that he was, you know, in the military and that he um, trained to be a naval flight officer. And I know that must have been really, really hard, intense work. And I just kind of looked at it in a different light, you know, um, as an adult looking back. People have to understand there's a price that gets paid for freedom. So Medal of Liberty represents an opportunity for the citizens of the Commonwealth to express their gratitude and appreciation to the families of uh, servicemen and women who have uh, fallen in the line of duty, who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. It allows family members to understand that their, their loved one, the sacrifice they made, will never be forgotten and will always be remembered here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Um, we hold these families very near and dear to our heart. This medal was, um, it's really special and um, an honor for us to have. You know, um, my dad died 48 years ago, so um, for my kids to get to be at a ceremony like this and, um, you know, to honor him, it was just overwhelming and very special for me. This is something for the families to hold on to and proudly wear and the word has to get out there that these medals are available to the people of Massachusetts who have lost loved ones in past conflicts. And the Commonwealth will continually remember them uh, through Veterans Day, through Memorial Day, through the holidays, through any Gold Star type of family event or any military event at all. It just allows us to basically say, hey, we will never forget what your loved one did for this great nation and our great Commonwealth of Massachusetts. These awards are out there for them and to help them and it's going to help them heal. I didn't realize that it was for people from, you know, all different wars, so I thought it was really touching and special. I think it is recognition and an honor for, um, you know, people that have given their lives um, in service, so I highly recommend that families, um, you know, participate. It was a very proud moment very proud. And to receive that from the governor and, and from the general uh, in the beautiful picture that I have to memorialize that day. Uh, it was very, very, very special. I would absolutely encourage them to um, participate. It's such a special way to celebrate and remember the person and for that person to be honored. For information on eligibility and applying for the Medal of Liberty, visit MassNationalGuard.org or contact your local veteran service officer.